<laughs> you know, it's been uh, four years since I've been uh, tracking these little uh, dark brown, dark black spiders. And uh, finally, I uh, was able to um, take them in and get them ID'd, which you're going to see in just a minute. So, uh, my dog has gotten a little bit older since uh, the flashback you're going to see in 2014 when I first started spotting these spiders. Kenzie, where are you? There you are. <laughs> How you doing there, girl? How's my girl? Oh, you just want my coffee. <laughs> How you doing today? You got stuff all over your face. All right. So anyway, a little flashback to 2014 when I first spotted these uh, little black spiders. And then we're going to uh, take you on a little adventure with me to finally ID them. So enjoy the clip. Thanks for watching. See you later. Hi. This is my first uh, outing in the spring here. I uh, finally got rid of all the snow in my backyard and I'm out with my, uh, my new puppy over here. Anyway, we're out to take a look at some spiders together. We're actually out, she's out for a walk. I'm out to check out what's going around, going on in the ground cover uh, since it's a nice, fairly warm day. Got up to about 55 this afternoon. Sun's out and uh, I got a hunch I might see a little activity over here in the ground cover next to this old cornfield, um, we'll take a look. Now you've heard of uh, shepherding dogs. I'm gonna see if I got my spider dog trained to kick up some spiders here in the grass. So I'm gonna turn her loose, see what she pops up. Tansy, go get me some spiders over here. Get me some spiders, come on. Let's go look for some spiders. Ah, and as she's bouncing around, there are a few spiders starting to peek out. There's a little guy right over here. Hey! <laughs> Get out of the way! I'm trying to look at spiders, not for you to jump on them. Now where'd that go? These uh, flattened down grasses uh, provide a really nice uh, cover for young spiderlings that are hatching out and making their way into the uh, uh, springtime area. Uh, this is nice because underneath these grasses it's nice and warm and uh, the spiders can venture out to the surface, take a peek what's going on and these would be ground hunters here that I'm looking at, um, or seen, because uh, they don't need a web to catch their prey. They uh, just hunt through the ground and uh, find uh, something to pounce on. Is he you ready to go home? Are your spider hunting all done? <laughs> all right, let's go home. These are some spiders that uh, I found uh, just uh, yesterday. It is the end, uh, last day in February. Um, and I found these little guys uh, out on some uh, yellow flattened grasses. Uh, with these little guys running all over the tops of them. So I thought I would go grab a few to try to ID what kind of spider I have here. I'm going to guess maybe possibly I have some spiderling uh, wolf spiders, but i um, not sure. Anyway, here's what they look like up close.
guys seem to have some pretty good eyesight. You can see when another one is approaching them. I'm on the campus of Hope College and about to go into the science building here to see uh, Dr. Alan Brady, a professor who taught at Hope College and now continues his study and works with spiders. So I have some spiders here I caught in the field, some little small ones. I want to see if you can help me identify them. So let's head on in the building here and meet with Dr. Alan Brady. Ah, the hallowed halls of college days. I'm an alumni here from Hope College, graduated in 1972. And Dr. Alan Brady's office is right here. And there he is, Dr. Brady. Bob McAndrews here. Hi. I have some spiders I'd like to oh. have you help me identify if you might. All right. Appreciate your help. Oh my. <laughs> They're really that, that tiny. Look, that looks like a small wolf spider. A wolf spider? Yes. Which wow. Is classified in the genus Pardoza. Pardoza. Sweet. Well, maybe you can help me see what they look like under the microscope. That would be cool. Do you want to have sound? <laughs> well, I can't talk. We'll let you sing in the background, Eldon. <laughs> so what you seeing in there, Dr. Brady? What am I seeing? I'm seeing a dorsal view and a ventral view of the genus Pardoza. And is that a form of a wolf spider then? And that is a small genus of wolf spider. Nice. Small size genus of wolf spider. <laughs> and we decided what the name meant. Something like a leopard? Something like a leopard. Yeah, a small means, leopard? Uh, <laughs> like a leopard. Now it's interesting as uh, Dr. Birdie's looking at these specimens I brought in that uh, this is a small little tiny uh, genus or subfamily of the wolf spider. Normally when I thought of wolf spider, I thought of a big spider, a good size one, but there's apparently all kinds of different subspecies. This is one of them, a very small one, kind of known by its Latin name as, and we're just guessing here a little bit, but a, a, a small leopard, maybe identifying how it goes after its prey. Don't know for sure. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good, uh, probably, yes. Wow, look at that through that the microscope. Oh, light camera. Mm hmm. There's the, there's the little guy. What's he called again? Pardoza. Pardoza. That's our genus? That's the genus, yeah. Okay. Always capitalized. Nice. Dr. Brady has uh, put this into a special container for me. And uh, what, did, what did you just tell me about this container now? In this file, the essential information you need is the state where it was collected in the county and then a specific locality. In addition, you put the date it was collected and the collector, and it becomes a part of the scientific record. Nice! Hey, that is cool for me. I love it. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Brady. All right, Bob. You have a good day. You have a good Take day. Take care now. While I'm here, I'm taking a look at just some of the specimens uh, that is in this room for Lycosidae, or the wolf spider. And there are tons and hundreds of, I don't know, thousands maybe of spider specimens here. 
Uh, here's an example of uh, of several spiders. Look at there. So this is just loaded with specimens, information about them, where they were found, dates, places, etc. This is a fun place for a guy who loves spiders to visit. And uh, for me, it's always been fun to be here. Thanks so much, Dr. Brady. Oh, you have, have you. yourself a good day now. Always enjoy talking about spiders. <laughs> okay, take care. <laughs> All right, let's head out. I hope you had some fun. I do. Uh, whenever I come in here and talk to, now he would say he's not an expert, but he's uh, obviously one who is well acquainted with spiders. So uh, for me, it's always a treat to come here. All right, well, that's really all I have for today. Have yourself a great day, and uh, hey, thanks for tuning in. Bye now.